Good evening, everyone. Thank you for taking your time out of your busy schedule to join us tonight. Especially, I knew at least five of my friends are hosting different events right now. Glad all of us are staying active despite of year of、uh, healthy or sick, busy or not busy. Anyways, I love small gatherings. Hope each of us can have little more interactions. Before we start, can I please invite you all to share one of your stories for the Seventh Canada Multicultural Creative Festival? Let me share my screen. Submit one of your stories in word format or video about one to two minutes. Deadline for submission is October tenth, and the event video with one hundred small stories will be uploaded online on October twenty-two. Now I'd like to share the greetings from Marilyn Tay. On behalf of the Neighborhood Small Grants Committee in Richmond, I'd like to thank you all for your interest in connecting with others in a year that has kept so many of us apart. Through the Vancouver Foundation's responsive Neighborhood Small Grants, we have been funding projects that bring people together socially or to share skills and talents. We are pleased to hear that there are a good number of people who want to learn more about how to use Zoom, TikTok, especially when we are still going through a time when many events are virtual. Social media platforms have become important avenues for people to engage with each other and their communities, and it's. Easy to fall behind and feel overwhelmed with the new developments. I hope you all learned something today that you will find useful professionally, personally. Thank you to the WS writers for taking the time to put together this presentation. And congratulations to Sophia, your neighborhood small grant project leaders, for once again being selected as a recipient of the grant with another creative and timely project idea. Thank you, Marilyn. I'm grateful to always have the great support from you and from Richmond. Cares the Richmond Gives and the Vancouver Foundation. Today we have two workshops: Zoom in English and TikTok in English and Mandarin. We purchased ten small bottles of local berry wine for lucky prize for the ten lucky participants. After the event, we can schedule a pickup or delivery. If you have any questions. Please save them and ask us at the end. My sincere thanks to Dr. Maran Alibadi for taking the time out of her busy schedule to give us this free workshop. Dr. Alibadi is the CEO and the co-founder of Kids Shield Services Incorporation, focusing on comprehensive curriculum. Interactive games, intelligent assessment, and more. She is always passionate to make internet a safer place for people, especially for kids. She is currently a research associate at UBC. Some of you must be familiar with her from the cyber security workshop she kindly gave us back in January. Without further ado, let's welcome Dr. Alibadi. Now we have Dr. Alibadi. Uh, please put your microphone on mute, okay? Please. 
So thank you so much, Sophia, for your great introduction. Hi, everybody. My name is Mariam Ali Abadi, and I'm very happy to see, see you again uh, in this great uh, gathering, social event. I guess some of you were attended in my previous workshop, which was about cybersecurity. But uh, today we have more people. I'm glad that uh, I'm presenting a very basic tutorial for how to use Zoom um, uh, and in this workshop. So let me share my screen first. Great. So I will have a very uh, brief uh, workshop about uh, Zoom and I will teach you how to use the basics of the Zoom. Hopefully uh, after this workshop, you will have a better understanding of how to use Zoom. Maybe uh, many of you have already used Zoom. Uh, and yeah, actually all of you use because you are in a Zoom meeting. But I am trying to teach you different features of Zoom and uh, how to get um, our hands more dirty in using Zoom. Okay, the first question actually here is that, what is the Zoom? Video, uh, Zoom is a video conferencing software. After pandemic happens, uh, you know that many people has to have to stay at home and work from home. The students have to stay at home and study through online channels. But of course, every student needs to communicate with his, his peers and also his teachers when he's, going to, he's not able to go to school anymore for learning and uh, passing the exam. Also, all of the workers and employees need to communicate to each other, communicate to their employers and uh, uh, can complete all of the uh, tasks that has been assigned to them. So actually everybody need to stay at home and work from home. So how it would be possible? Zoom actually provides a great way for facilitating this problem. You are able to go through Zoom software and attend in the online meeting and be very productive and at the same time stay safe by staying at home. Hopefully, a uh, pandemic will be gone very soon, but Zoom uh, is something that uh, was has been using even before pandemic for uh, video conferencing among the employees who are working all other corners of the world. For example, the people in China who are communicating with people in Canada or, or the US or even in Europe so Zoom facilitates this kind of communication and it makes possible that more than 1,000 attendees attend a single Zoom meeting. So it can facilitate like a big a gathering or big conferences that were used to be held in person. So let's get started and go through the Zoom a step by step how to download how to set up the zoom and how to use the zoom okay first of all when you want to start using the zoom you need to download the zoom software if you go through this link that is shown here you will be able to have access to the zoom link let me do it uh, together Great. So I guess uh, this video pretty much uh, presents all of the security and privacy features that uh, are important to be considered for the people who are trying to host a Zoom meeting uh, securely and safely. Um, but I guess I am done with all of the features and uh, I'm very, I would be very happy to take any question. I don't know if your background is a real one or is the curtain. Mine is a curtain, but uh, I want to know if I don't need, I don't put a real curtain behind me, what is happening? 
I mean, why is not same as the other people's? Okay. Okay, great. Yeah, <laughs> uh, in the virtual background uh, section that I showed you uh, within my presentation, you are able to choose your background. For example, now you have chosen this beautiful space, uh, blue space uh, background, but if you choose none, your real curtain in your uh, window will be appear. So just uh, click on the Zoom meeting that you are in. There is a uh, design of camera on the button left corner. Can you see that? And it's, it's a road stop video. Beside that, there is a very little arrow. Just click on that arrow. You will see choose virtual background. Can you see that? Can you find that? They are checked there. Uh, after below the picture, there is a uh, says yes. Uh, there is one choice that yes, I have green screen. The other is no, I don't have it. So if I put I don't have it, then the uh, picture is going to on my body. Is that behind me? Oh yeah. So there are, there is two the reason for that. One of them is that when you choose virtual background. Uh, there is one option that says, I have a green screen. If you click on the, I have a green screen, then the background will be mixed with your picture. You have to uncheck that. And in some cases, the version of your computer is a little bit old. So if there is not enough light on your face, then your body will be mixed with the background picture. Oh, okay. These are these two reasons. So just try to sit in a very uh, light, bright area to have enough light on your face. In that case, your uh, picture won't be mixed with the background. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, hello. Sometimes Hi. I use virtual background, but uh, myself is not clear. So how should I do? Let me let me show you something. I want to uh, choose virtual background. There is another option here that shows that uh, I have a green screen. When I click on that, can you see my face is somehow mixed with the background? You cannot see my face. No, no. It's yeah. not? No, no. Oh, maybe so I see the not... difference. I see the difference. <laughs> you can so, see the difference, right? I see the so, difference. What's happened? <laughs> so there is an option here that says I have a green screen. If you click on that, it I will be shown like this, and it is not good, right? But if you uncheck that, it will be okay. Okay, I see. So. So you increase the light? No, no, no. No, I told you there are two different reasons that your face is mixed with the background. One of them is the lack of light. If there is no enough light, it will uh, mix your face with the background. Oh. Okay. Another reason is that in some computers, there is one option in the virtual background that says, I have green, um, let me read it carefully. Uh, I have a green screen. If you check that, your face again will be melt in the background. But if you uncheck this option, it will be okay. Oh, I have yeah. to check. Up here. Oh, okay. Yeah. But if uh, I, I'm not able to change my computer, then can I just change one, like, a camera? I mean, just uh, buy an outlet camera? No, if your uh, computer is a little bit low, um, old, uh -huh. then the only the thing that would help you is increasing the light. For example, sitting in sunlight and try to use the Zoom. Other than sitting in a very dark room, try to go to the um, beside sunlight when uh, wherever there is a lot of light. 
Oh. It, that is the only thing that can help you. Because I totally understand. I experienced your problem when I was using a very old version of MacBook. I had the same problem. But when I um, used the light, the problem was resolved. After that, I changed my computer and I bought a newer one. Now I, um, I'm sitting in a somehow dark room, but you can see my face very clearly. So uh, yeah, there are two options, upgrading your computer or going to the sunlight. <laughs> okay. okay, thank you. Thanks again, Marianne. As many of you know, I have been teaching at the community centers or senior centers or for non-profit organizations for more than 10 years with Mandarin class, ID class, computer, iPad, iPhone, Mac, ESL, social media citizenship class, immigration settlement class, and more. However, this is my first time for online workshop. Therefore, please be bear with me. Let's learn together. 大家可能知道，我在老年中心、社区中心和非营利组织教过普通话课，呃、uh, ，IT 课、计算机、iPad、iPhone、Mac、ESL、社交媒体课、公民课、移民安置课等，呃、uh, ，有十年的经验。但是这是我第一次参加在线的 workshop， 所以，嗯、um,。呃，如果有讲到不周到的地方，请多多包涵，我们一起学习哈。You must be familiar with TikTok. No one in China is doing right. It's a video sharing focused social networking service. There are so many to share about TikTok, but today I'm going to talk about TikTok in three major parts. Part one. Create a TikTok account. Part two: How to make a TikTok video. Part three: This is the most important part. It's ten major tips from me for how to get noticed on TikTok, go viral on TikTok. As I believe you all know how to create a TikTok account and how to make a TikTok video already. Part three is. Actually, our main focus today. If you never use TikTok, we can always have another beginner TikTok workshop in the near future. 说到 TikTok， 有很多很多可以分享的，但今天呢，我将从三个主要的部分简单的谈一谈 TikTok。第一部分呢，就是创建一个 TikTok 的账号；第二部分呢，是如何制作 TikTok 的视频；第三部分呢，呃，是我的十个经验分享，如何让你的 TikTok 小视频深受大家的喜爱。我相信大家对创建 TikTok 的账户、上传 TikTok 的视频都已经非常的熟悉，对吗？所以今天。我们将着重探讨的是第三部分，都不熟，如何？如 OK， 如果有的朋友呢还不太熟悉 TikTok， 那我们今后呢可以再办一个 TikTok 的入门的讲座，手把手一步一步的来，好吗？啊、uh, ，go viral on TikTok. First, be creative. New ideas. <音声>如何让你的 TikTok 小视频深受喜爱？从我自己的经验当中。我总结了十条，当然，我想肯定还有更多更多的 tip， 要有创意。大家现在看到的这个是我的 TikTok， 好，这个就是我刚才提到的一个嗯种大蒜的视频 ，WS Sharing， 
。刚才我们说到，你要上传视频的时候，尽量用一些 hashtag， 就是流行的那些词，或者呢就是 at。你看，这里就是有一个 at 吗？就是你的朋友，你想让他们看到你的视频，你就 at 这个朋友，这样的话就会给你带来很多的 audience。好，现在我用英文再说一下哈。OK， so now I'm sharing my TikTok from the mobile to the Zoom. This is my TikTok account. So as you can see, it's、uh, free as the wind. So previously we mentioned like. When you upload a video, you can try to use a lot of hashtags.、Uh, hashtag is always it's like a trending phrase,、uh, and you can use a lot of ad. Ad is kind of like let them know you are uploading your TikTok video. See, if you are at me, so my handle is at ws sharing. So this is the very short video that. Canada soccer team get the gold medal from Tokyo Olympics. So that's another example. So you can see when I emphasized the content for the TikTok video, sports is one thing people really crazy about too. Rather than food,、uh, pets, education video, dance video. Now only next four minutes left. We just quickly move to the lucky draw. Traditionally, we just ask questions. So, <laughs> yeah. So I, I guess we have、uh, we have to ask questions about the workshop, right? Yeah. It can be general question. <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Um. So, let me ask one question about the workshop. Okay. So,、uh, can anybody remember what is just one of the security-related options that we have to consider for the Zoom? Maybe it is a little bit difficult, but I would try this one first to make sure how much. Attendees were listening to whatever I was trying to teach. <laughs> okay, 我来帮他翻译啊。哎，我就是 briefly translate here.、Um, 哎，我刚刚我刚刚在做两场直播。你再一次感谢 ，Thank you very much, Mary. 再一次感谢所有的人。Thank you, thank you, Mary. 下次见。Yeah. All the friends who speak English. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Hope to see you again. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. 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 Thank you.